Okay, folks. Let's see what we have in store for us today. Apparently, a lot of stuff going on in the news. Welcome. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good evening, Freya. Oh, hi. When was the last time you slept? I still sleep like a normal person, you know. I slept for six hours. Last night? No. I've slept six hours this week. That's not healthy. Get some rest, really. I can rest when it's done. That's stupid. Oh, shut up. So, what's your plan now? Now? As in, right at this moment? I'm planning to go to the bathroom and wash my face. I need to make sure I don't look like a dead woman walking. And after that, I'll continue writing. Freya. Oh well, you know where the bathroom is. This girl. Honestly. Okay. I need something to drink now. Freya. You're unemployed. Don't waste your money on coffee shop drinks. That is so weird. Coming from the coffee shop owner. I know. You've been a regular for years. If you only need the vibes of the place, just right here. No, I can't do that. You don't have any customers tonight. What would I do if this place went bankrupt? It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go do your work, okay? But... See? There's a customer coming right now. So, don't you worry about me. Oh! Hi, Gala! What's wrong? I know you're a man of few words, but this is maybe pushing it a bit. Freya, Emmy, I'm truly very sorry for what happened yesterday. Gala, hey, it's alright. No one got hurt, right? And the coffee shop's fine. Don't think about it too much, Gala. Like Freya said, no casualties and no problems with the coffee shop. I still need to redeem myself for the mess I made and the scare I gave you. I'm sure there's something I can do. Hmm. Why don't you buy something for the lady here? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Hey, what do you mean? You want anything to drink, Freya? No. All right, Gala. I insist. You don't have to. Please accept it. At least it'll help me stop feeling so guilty. At least a little. All right, all right. I wouldn't mind a coffee. Not an espresso, mind you. Something with a little less of a kick. You know how to make sugar and spice. The one with cinnamon? Yes. A cup of sugar and spice, please. Okay, so sugar and spice. So coffee, I'm going to say honey, and then she said cinnamon, didn't she? So, let's get this brewing. Sugar and spice. Nice. Sugar and spice for the lady with the vices. Hey. Oh, well, I won't complain. Thank you, Gala. Don't mention it. Emmy, are you sure there's nothing I can do for you? You don't have to do anything, Gala. It's fine. But to be honest, I'm curious. What happened yesterday? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you usually stay indoors during the full moon, don't you? I usually do. But there was an emergency at the hospital yesterday. What kind of emergency? Hmm. The hospital was really packed yesterday, after that announcement. Announcement? The one saying that a replacement government-issued Fury sedative will be available soon. Releasing that news on the day of the full moon was just... stupid. So many restless werewolves came, asking about the sedative, which isn't ready yet. But the announcement said it wasn't ready, just that it was coming soon. You think people read the whole article? They only saw the headline and glanced at it at the news stall. Then they went straight to the hospital. 
I don't blame them though. Finding out that the only publicly available sedative is dangerous? It's difficult for some people. I ended up having to explain it to dozens of werewolves. I even had to put some rogue werewolves in the isolation rooms. It was that bad, huh? Yeah, to the point that we ran out of rooms to put them in. That's why, at the end of my shift, I left immediately. Normally, I'd have asked a friend to lock me in one of our isolation rooms, of course. But I couldn't. So I rushed back to my apartment, but it was too late. Thankfully, I was in the area, and I managed to force myself to come to your place. Gala, excuse me for asking. Yes? But you didn't hurt anyone on the way here, right? As far as I remember, no. And I didn't see any blood on my clothes. That's good to hear. This might sound overly confident, considering what happened yesterday, but I have enough control to make sure I don't hurt anyone. As long as I have something to direct my fury towards. Usually I end up destroying stuff around me. Or, worst case, hurting myself. Despite all of that, I'm still glad no one got hurt. Always looking for the positive side, aren't you? Just doing my job. Thanks, both of you. I really mean it. But please, if there's anything I can do to pay back... I mean, if there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask me right away. Will do. In the meantime, can I order a drink? Sure, what are you having? The same as yesterday. Here's your special brew. Thank you. The drink that saved me. Once again, thank you. For helping me find this drink. By the way, Gala. Now that you are 100% sure that drink is your natural sed sedative, why don't you put some in a bottle and carry it with you everywhere? That's the plan. It has to be warm though. I can use a vacuum flask, I suppose. I'll give it a try next full moon. Don't worry, Freya. I'm going to stay at my place for the next full moon. I'm not taking any risks. Before I can make sure how effective that re remedy is. Phew. What the... R Rachel? What's going on? Huh. What else? Y your father? Of course. What the hell was he thinking? Coming backstage at Coachella. Just to get into an argument with my manager. Huh? Uh, before we continue, Emmy, a cafe latte, please. Your cafe latte is ready. Thanks. How did he manage to get backstage? He told security he was my father, and he messaged me about coming beforehand. He said he was just going to wish me luck, so I told them to let him in, of course. He's still my father. Things were nice at first. Then my manager came, and... Ugh. I don't know why he hates him so much. It's showbiz. I'm mature enough to know what's good or bad for me. What happened after that? Mr. Lester told the security guards to kick him out. He's still allowed in the festival area. I saw him in the crowds. Did a concert go well at least? Oh yeah. Other than the arguments backstage, everything was great. I was the first one to play on the main stage. Usually no one pays much attention to whoever's first. But there were thousands of people in the audience during my session. Nice. So you don't need to be at the event anymore after this? Not really. I did my stage time. And then there was this press conference after my show. After show press conference? Yeah, the pre-show was done yesterday. Today was a small one. There were almost a dozen journalists who wanted to interview me. So I just decided to do a mini conference. Good for you. You're totally back in the game, huh? I guess I am. Thanks to Mr. Lester. I would say it's because of you. But your manager's probably worked some of his influence too. <laughs> so why are you here? Ugh. Because of Dad, of course. I told him to come here this evening. We really need to set things straight. He needs to stop messing with my manager so much. And because this is the only time we can meet, 
I can't go to the party Mr. Lester is hosting. What party? He's hosting a party for VIPs and artists he manages at a club in Belltown. Is it okay for you to go to the party without a guardian? I'm 18, remember? I'm an adult. Yeah, but you can only enter some clubs if you're 21. Not this time. Because Mr. Lester's my manager and it's his party. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. It's true. No. I know you can do that by using his name, but I don't think he should do that with you. Why? I'm an... Uh, no, you're not, Rachel. Have you ever been to one of Lester's parties? Well, no. You have? Not personally. I've heard stories. What stories? He knows how to party. That's good then. Hmm. That's not necessarily a good thing. Knowing how to party might mean something else entirely. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll find out, especially if you keep Lester on as your manager. Personally, I don't mind wild parties, but inviting an underage person to his party, that might be a bit too far. Well, cu huh? Oh, meow. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no, Dad! What? Rachel, is that Mr. Henry? Yes! Dad? What happened? I mean, can you get a cup of milk for him, please? Just milk? Just milk. No. Okay, serve it. Here, thank you. Dad, please hold on. Can somebody help me call an ambulance, please? They're on the way. I've contacted the hospital. Thank you. I've also contacted our... Nickel me, me expert personally. She's off shift right now, but she's also on the way. Thank you so much. I don't know what might have happened without your help. Don't mention it. Here they come. I'll go with you. Okay. Oh no. Oh boy. That was really something, huh? Yeah. Two days in a row? An emergency at your place? Well, at least some people think of your place as their go-to when they need help. You're right. It's not every day you look at things from the bright side. Huh. Well, I'm one of your coffee shop disciples, right? So I kind of understand them. I hope Henry's alright. Me too. At least he's in good hands now. What's your plan for the rest of the night? Well, that was all pretty hectic. But I need to continue writing. Take your time and place then. Will do.